Alright, so this is the hunt from the other day where I killed my uh, first deer of the year. Um, right here I have two of them around me. And right after this, the uh, car came up the back driveway and uh, ran, them all, ran them off except for the little baby. And then about 15 minutes later, I was totally surrounded by deer. That is right here. Um, they came out walked uh up the opposite side of the road and uh i counted uh 10 of them but i could hear something thrashing around in the woods so i knew something big was coming because it was it sounded way too loud to be something small and um yeah so i i was by myself and i couldn't hold my uh bow and my phone at the same time so I had to sit the phone down, and uh, this guy walked out, walked up about 12 feet away from me. Um, he was quartering towards me, and I put the shot. That that hole right there is uh, the entrance. The exit hole, surprisingly, was way, way, way far back, but he only ran about 60 yards Um he had no idea where I was or where he got shot from because he ran right on. He almost ran into the tree I was sitting in. Um, he was so close that I could see blood shooting three or four feet out of each side of him. Um, the shot cut both the valves going into the top of the heart. The heart was just floating around in his body. I could feel it. Uh, bumping into my leg when I was dragging him because my uh, right leg was against his chest and I could hear it flop feel it flopping around in there but um yeah I sliced the valves to his heart I hit his right lung and sliced his liver in half because he was quartering towards me but um yeah he, you know, he was he was a big deer um I know his rack's not that beautiful but if you if you notice he's in velvet and it's October 25th, still in velvet on October 25th, and I've never seen one that long, late in velvet. Um, I I think he would be a non-typical because he has six he has six points on his right side and three, possibly four on his left side. He's got one on the back side of his right side that's going down into his skull. It's like a big piece of cauliflower that's like a drop tine off his base going into his skull. It's crazy. Here's the arrow that yeah. I used. Right. Ray Here is the um, I thought I'd be able to reuse it, but this left side is all busted up and it's bent. And can't use that again. It won't fold back up. But yeah. And this is where the arrow ended up after I shot him. Straight through, clean pass through. I would have loved to have been able to use the rage again, but can't complain. Can't complain. It did its job. But all right.